Hi, welcome to Pooner Library's Take and Make Basket Workshop. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Twyla. And we're going to show you how to take one of these templates that you can get curbside at the Harmony Library and make one of these. A really nice, cool basket just in time for Thanksgiving. The first thing you're going to do with your template is you're going to take all of these edges and you're going to bend them up. These are what's going to be your warp. So you're going to bend them all up so they're like standing straight up one after another. And if you notice, they've got these little edges on them and you want those edges to kind of line up. And that's gonna help hold your string in as you weave it. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, you could take markers or you could take paint and you could design something down here in the bottom. So when you're finished, you can do that. You can also, when you're done, do the painting, but it's probably cleaner if you do it at the very beginning. Let it dry and then you can do the weaving. So once you've got something like this, you're going to take a string and I'm just using some regular yarn, but you could go to the craft store and get some really cool kind of variegated yarn. Variegated yarn is yarn that goes from one color to another. Um, or you can get a variety of yarns and then stack them up like this one. It's up to you. You can do whatever you want. Twyla's already got started on hers. Let me show you how to get started. So the first thing you do is you're going to take the end of your yarn and you're going to put it in between two of the warp pieces like that. And you're going to kind of hold it with your thumb as you go over and under and over and under these cardboard pieces. Okay, so see how I've got it going over under every other one? That's really important. <clears throat> you need to go over under every single one to start to build it up. Now, one way that you can check yourself is you look here and see if it's every other one and you can look on this side and see if it's every other one. If you accidentally went over to and under one, then you can just undo it and then keep going again. Okay, so now I'm where I began and now what I'm gonna to start to do is fill that in. So you see how that's going over and under, over and under, and I'm pulling it not too tight, but tight enough that all the um, warp pieces are kind of standing up because we eventually want it to be kind of a wall of the basket. Now, if you wanted your basket to be more of a bread basket, kind of more of a, of a um, flat kind of plate-like thing, you wouldn't want to do that. But I think with these guys, especially the first time, you want to make it more of a basket. You want it to have an actual wall. Okay. And Twyla's working on that too. Okay. And what you're going to do <clears throat> is you're going to keep doing it. And if you want to change strings midway through, all you're going to do is you're going to cut that string with a pair of scissors, giving yourself a little bit of a room to cut, to tie a knot. You're going to take your next string. And you're going to undo it a little bit like that. Not too much because you don't want to make any knots. Knots are no fun, are they, Twyla? Mm -mm. Okay. And I'm going to just put both of them together. This is called a weaver's knot. You pull it out, you go over, under, through the loop. And if you don't like having that big big uh, piece of string, you can snip that, like that. And then you just keep weaving like nothing ever happened. And it'll change your color up. Yeah, I changed from white to pink a little bit. So that way it could be a perfect bed for top bow. Now, other things that you can weave with, if you if you uh, don't want to use yarn, you can use pieces of fabric cut into strips, like t-shirts work really well. Um, you can also use wire. Uh, what Newspaper is fun. Another thing that I've used before is saran wrap. It sticks together a lot, but it kind of gives you a good effect, especially if you want to do something for the holidays. You could do something red or green. You can get saran wrap in those different colors and go crazy. So when you get to the end, what you're going to do is you're just going to do your final knot and you're going to pull it through one of these edges. And by the time you get up here, it's pretty tight. So you pull it through one of those edges and then double it up and snip it. And, and sometimes you need to like push your stuff down. Yes, you're going to have to push your stuff down to make it nice and tight. And that's what you're going to do. So you can get these at Harmony Library curbside pickup and you get your little template and you can make a basket. Send us pictures of your basket and let us know how it goes. Thanks for joining us today.
Bye.